Hey Space Watchers, so we're here on day two at GeoInt 2025 and I have the pleasure of talking with Ken Joyce who is VP of Products at Black Sky. So welcome Ken to Space Watch Global. Thanks Laura, really appreciate it. So what's very interesting, um, I, I'm finding you into interesting in general, it's my first time here, and I've literally just listened to your CEO, Brian O'Toole, talk about why commercial GeoInt is so important for GeoInt intelligence and for everything that's going on in the world. So I'm just curious as to you, what is like, what have you enjoyed thus far with GeoInt and why is it important what Brian's saying? Uh, absolutely loving GeoInt Symposium this year, seeing so many great colleagues from over the years, excited to have the whole Black Sky team here. Of course, we are very, very excited to be showcasing brand new imagery off of our new Gen 3 uh, satellite, which is delivering now 35 centimeter resolution images on a, on a daily basis. Uh, some of them are behind us just here right, <laughs> right now. Uh, so it's, it's just a great crowd of people, great uh, great friends and uh, of course great stuff to show. Which as someone, I mean I've worked in intelligence so I appreciate the difficulty of doing imagery. Um, what was also interesting in the panel I've just attended is there was a lot of talk about collaboration, cooperation, integrating systems which is nice to see on an international level. So, But what is it that makes Black Sky different and an important partner for that international collaboration? I think that Black Sky takes a very unique approach to intelligence collection. Uh, first thing I would say is coming in as, as uh, leading a product team is working with a company that's truly software driven, software uh, foundation. That's what allows us to go from launch with Gen 3, which happened on February 18th, and we, were, we had imagery operations just five days later. And that's due to the strength of the platform, and that's everything from space to ground and how we get the imagery, as well as those analytics into the hands of our customers. I think the other unique thing about Black Sky is we've truly taken an approach to being nimble, to being agile, all the way from space to ground. And so what we're looking at is the ability to do persistent monitoring. Mm -hmm. So with Gen 2 and now with Gen 3, we'll have dawn to dusk imaging so that we can keep our eyes on those critical locations. That also enables us to do very rapid response. So when there's an event and our customers need, need that overhead perspective immediately, we have that availability on orbit to get the, get the imagery tasked, get it collected, get the analytics run, and get that image along with those analytics into the hands of our customers. You said several words that make me happy, so special agile and uh, the, the quickness, the, the latency topic, because that was again something that was addressed. And you know, you've mentioned Gen 3, and I heard Brian talk about you're already looking at the next generation and how to fit that in with what's been done for what's going to be needed in, from NATO, from uh, DOD, from whoever, in terms of that international collaboration again. So is there anything you can share with us about that? I think uh, having worked in the industry for a number of years, we, we've all seen this gap that exists. And it's, it's a gap that's existed between imagery quality and imaging capacity. So we've seen uh, some very capable satellites of doing, say, foundational wide area mapping, good resolution, good spatial accuracy, but very little availability. And so no real ability to do persistent monitoring, to do rapid response. And then we've seen a number of, of providers that have lower quality imagery, maybe that gets collected more often, but it's, it's simply not of intelligence grade. So what, we're seeing here with Black Sky and especially with the launch of the Gen 3 satellites is that gap getting closed. So now we're seeing intelligence grade 35 centimeter resolution imagery. We can detect things all the way down to passenger vehicles. We can distinguish them between pickup trucks for the security mission. That means that we can distinguish between, for instance, a main battle tank, an armored personnel carrier, self-propelled artillery things that are uh, difficult, if not impossible to do without that, that quality of imagery. Okay. Well, I mean, it's been a pleasure. I could chat with you all day about this because, again, as I, <laughs> I say, I, I do love imagery and looking at intelligence. Uh, just in a final quick question, very quickly, what is it you're looking forward to seeing most from this GeoInt 
Uh, for me, it's, it's, it's looking forward to catching up with all of our great customers, really showcasing these new capabilities, learning all about maybe new requirements that are emerging, new trends that are emerging, everything from, of course, imaging is, is, is always a critical component, but looking forward to some of those more cutting edge, AI driven analytics capabilities that we're, we're always so excited to have, as you had mentioned, integrated in those collaborative ideas and bringing those forward to our customers. Well, Ken, thank you so much, um, and thank you, and that's Space Watch out.